guys, Wendell from Rogue. This is a video to help you choose a heavy duty collar. There's three things that you should be looking for when you're out scanning for a heavy duty collar and I'm going to try to point out some of the, um, the key points when you're shopping. So I'm going to dive in and take you through the main differences. This is our Rogue Royalty Super Tough brand collar. This is actually substantially heavier because of the denser weave and it's a different material okay so very light it's also quite you know scratchy to, to the feel we make our own uh, webbing to our own spec it's a fine weave it's a lot more pliable and it's very comfortable so if you have a dog with sensitive skin or short hair just because it's a heavy duty collar it doesn't mean it should be uncomfortable and the other thing I'd like to say is there's no need for more than two plies. We've used this con uh, this configuration for I don't know, 12 years. We've never had a collar break. Okay, I mentioned the difference in material. This is our material. It's nice and limp. It just hangs. It's pretty cool, um, soft and pliable. And you can see this is like a surfboard. So you can make your own mind up. When these are photographed, you won't be able to tell the difference, but the last thing you want is to have a collar digging into the neck. It's just, for me, it's just a bit of a nasty product to use for a dog collar, okay? Sorry, I had to be honest there, but it's my personal choice, which is why we make kick-ass gear. Let's jump into the D-ring a little bit more now, and I'll start off with our setup, which is a solid marine grade stainless steel D-ring. It's not held there by a joint. That's actually the solid webbing, which folds over and it's all box stitched down here. When, you, when the dog is pulling and exerting force, it's actually pushing up on the top band. It's not a join, it's a bend. So this is the reason in 12 years, we've never ever had one come off this, this setup. If it did came off, the intention was to have this band to hold it. So if that breaks, you've got a second line of defense. With these setups, the concern I have is under here, it's just held together by thread and that's a lot weaker because it's just a layer of material and you're hanging literally by a thread as the saying goes. So I just think the other setup is a lot more secure, it's a lot more solid and you've got a second line of defense. The eyelets set up there's a big difference in the width of the eyelets. The eyelets are really there as a, as a precaution so that the double prongs are supported and the material doesn't fray with the force. Uh, the wider eyelets, they, they stay on for, like they just so much. Many, many years ago, we used to have the narrow eyelets and they just come off. So again, we use very wide eyelets and our hardware is custom made uh, for our purposes and that's how we like it. Hopefully this video helps to point out some of the points that you should be looking for. Don't feel afraid to ask us questions. If you're buying a collar from anyone, ask them about the material, ask them about the fitting, the gauge, everything so you know exactly what you're looking for. These days with modern technology, Photoshop, Canva, everything looks like a million dollars. Don't believe it, always trust the base specifications when you're investing for a strong dog collar until you get your money values worth. Thanks guys, thanks for watching.